Factsverse presents… This teen came up with a game-changing invention that NASA probably wishes it had thought of first. There are plenty of influential kids today all over the world. Just recently, much to the dismay of those who refuse to believe in climate change, Greta Thunberg was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2019. Greta's a teenage girl with Asperger's syndrome, and she's been very vocal about her desire for the world to make changes now to save our planet for the future. Another influential youngster is Fionn Ferreira. Fionn Ferreira is an 18-year-old boy from a village called Ballydehab in County Cork, Ireland. He might be a teenager, but he's not your average teenager. He's already an accomplished scientist. He came up with a game-changing invention that NASA probably wishes it had thought of first. Like Greta, Fionn is worried about the environment. He places his focus on a very serious problem that our planet's facing today – microplastics. For years, it was believed that facial scrubs and cosmetics were putting microplastics in the water. While a very small amount of microplastics do come from these products, the real problem is pollution. Plastic bags, plastic containers, and other pollutants in the water breaking down. When that happens, it causes microplastics. These are small particles of plastic that are smaller than 5 millimeters. It's very small and may not seem harmful, but they are. When these particles are found in the waters, the fish consume them, which results in humans being exposed to these microplastics when we eat the fish. There are likely more dangers of microplastics that we don't even know yet. Because these particles are so small, they can't be adequately filtered either. Well, Fionn decided to find another way to extract the microplastic from the water. One day, he was out at sea in his kayak, and while on the water, he noticed an oil-covered rock, and attached to it were microplastic fragments. He wondered if he could create something similar but on a larger scale to harness and filter microplastics from the water. Fionn already knew that scientists are worried about the impact that microplastics are having on humans, and seeing the oil-covered rock sparked an idea in him. In 1963, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, invented a ferrofluid. It's a liquid that has magnetic properties. Fionn started to wonder if he could use that substance to gather and remove microplastics from the water. Fionn decided to set up a lab at home and try to prove his theory. While setting up his home lab, he used improvised equipment. Using a combination of magnetite powder and cooking oil, he managed to make his own ferrofluid. During his experiments, he managed to prove that the fluid combined well with the microplastics. He figured that he could use a magnet afterwards to remove the pollutant. He performed extensive testing, which involved in him performing over a thousand experiments. He completed his experiments in a test tube and found that his method was 87% effective. He proved there's a chance that if his method is scaled up to an industrial level, it might remove microplastics from our water. Fionn decided to take his work to the Google Science Fair in 2019. He figured he could prove to the world that this method could be useful in cleaning up the Earth's oceans while earning some money for college at the same time. While he won the grand prize, he was awarded $50,000. Fionn says it's not the money that drew him to participate in the Science Fair, it's just a nice byproduct. He wants established scientists to see his work so that it can be created on a larger scale. Just winning the science fair won't be enough for Fionn, though. He's not going to be happy until his method is put into use to start cleaning up our planet's oceans. And we are lucky that we have kids in this world like Fionn, aren't we? He might just be a teenager, but he's making huge strides in saving the planet. He just wants a safe place for everybody to grow up and have families of their own, and he's working hard to find ways to do exactly that. He's actually repairing the damage that's already been done. Subscribe for more.